filming? No. Yes, you are. Yeah. So, I'm getting ready to paint these with the Annie Sloan chalk paint, and I'll show that to you here in a minute. Um, I'm just taking off the last bits of hardware, and now I'm going to wipe it off with a damp microfiber cloth just to make sure there's no dust or any dirt or anything. You know, obviously not brand new. It's got some nicks and stuff. I I had this when I um, lived at my mom and dad's before we got married. So I'm not even sure how old it is. I think I was in like fourth grade when we got it. So it's good enough for the girls. Right? Anyway, this is the paint that we're going to be using. The Annie Sloan paint in the Chicago gray. Um, and I have the brush over there. This is the brush. I think it's a medium size. I'm not really sure. Um, but I have a lot of surface area to cover. That's why I got the medium. It's the natural bristle, so people want to know this stuff. Alright. Okay, Red. So yesterday I finished the dresser, um, this is two coats of the Annie Sloan chalk paint in the Chicago Gray, and two coats of wax. Um, I'm going to put a third coat on the top just for extra durability. So now I'm going to get started on painting the mirror that goes on top of the dresser. Alright, so this is the mirror that goes with the dresser. Um, I have it all taped up already and all wiped off. Um, I think the easiest way for me to do this is I'm going to paint all of the wood and let that dry and get it waxed and all of that. And then after that's all dry, tape newspaper or newspaper off all of you know the stuff that I don't want and then I'll spray paint this black to match the um, knobs and everything that are on the dresser you can see behind me. So, I'm gonna get started on that. Alright, so that's one coat on. You can see where it's kind of like bubbling up a little bit. Um, that's okay. That happened on the dresser too. And uh, when I painted over it, again, um, the second and third coats, it uh, it went away and didn't come back, so one coat down, and we'll let that dry a little bit, and then we'll come up and do another one. So since it's been over 24 hours, um, I'm going to go in with the third coat of the Annie Sloan chalk paint wax. Yeah, there we go. With the Annie Sloan wax brush. Looks like that tapered edge. You only need a little bit of this. Um, a little goes a long way. And you don't want a bunch of uh, excess. So let's get the third coat on and get it extra protected. I already have done like half of this. So I'm just feeling. I just kind of dot it on. And then just every which way. Um, you just kind of like push it in to the paint. Um, it's not like polyurethane or like other sealants. Just take a very little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I don't have a whole lot on there. That, okay, that looks kind of like a lot, but I'm going to spread it all out. Now that I've finished with my uh, third coat of the wax, I'm going to go over it with a microfiber cloth and like wipe off any excess and kind of buff it a little bit. Alright, now it is 
done. Finally finished and it looks so good. It's even better than I thought it was gonna be. I've never done anything like this before. Um, I'm really proud of it and I can't wait to do a whole bunch of other things.